Well, we know a lot of people have their opinion about John Morant, and now people are starting to voice their concerns and, and their two cents about T. Morant, who is John Morant's father. He's a fixture at all the Memphis games, and he's really sort of becoming like Spike Lee at a Knicks game back in the day. But I'm going to let you hear what Stephen A. Smith had to say. In the case of Pops, only thing, I'm not throwing any shade on somebody's parent or anything like that. I'm simply trying to highlight and illuminate to T. Morant the importance of him being a dad. You raised him. You helped get him to this point. Make sure that you don't let anybody get in the way of what he is on the verge of accomplishing. Make sure you do your part to protect him instead of joining in to have a good time like you're one of his boys. You're not one yeah. of his boys. You're his dad. To his dad, I would say to him, sir, love and respect to you. Love seeing you at the games and what have you. I would remind you, sir, you are his daddy. You are not his boy. And the reality of the situation is that on far too many occasions, remember when there was the altercation in the Staples Center involving Shannon Sharp and stuff like that? The dad ended up in the middle of that. You know, you see his boys. I met some of these brothers, good brothers as far as I'm concerned, love their boy, John Morant. My advice to y'all, protect the asset. Now, I don't know about T. Morant, but I would be put off if I heard Stephen A. Smith giving me parenting advice not knowing what the hell T. Morant is telling his son behind the scenes. Whose 23-year-old son is taking all of the advice that is given to him by his father? Like they're not going to make dumb mistakes and dumb decisions outside of maybe what the parent is telling them. Just because we see T. Morant on the sidelines at games, he wears his shades. It's a whole little thing now and celebrities are, are trying to sit by him and take pictures with him. It's fun. It's a basketball game. He's like Spike Lee at a Knicks game back in the day. You're going to see T. Morant at the home games. It's cool. But I didn't see T. Morant in the background of that strip club while his son was holding the gun up. Now, if that were the case, then I could see it being warranted that people might say, hey, man, you partying with him. You look like you just his homeboy. Are you even parenting him at this point? But I don't see a whole lot of videos of T and Ja hanging around outside of the basketball arena. So to me, all the extra unsolicited parenting advice is just over the line, especially for a sports commentator. Talk about Ja Morant and all of that, but why the need to start critiquing T Morant based on a few actions of his son and him being visible at the home games. I just think it's a little off in that they're overstepping at this point because we don't know in reality what the hell T. Moran is telling his son. We don't know. He might be giving the best advice possible. But 23-year-old men and young women are going to do what they choose to do. Maybe even go against the advice that was given to them by their parent. And this young man has hundreds of millions of dollars. So I don't know what it is to parent a 23-year-old with hundreds of millions of dollars. They might be a little bit more narcissistic and think they know what's right for them. I don't know. Maybe I'm off. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like button before you go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, peace.